Don't is a boy. Turn it up, turn it up, turn it up, turn it up, yeah. Turn it up, turn it up, turn it up, turn it up, yeah. She need. Get less, she need. Hi guys and welcome to the channel Skincare with Asikia Iyala. I'm your girl Asikia Iyala. Um, if you're new to my channel, please do consider subscribing. Do not forget to hit on the notification bell as well so that you'll be notified each time I upload a new video. Now guys, to make our soap, the first thing you want to need is the soap base. Now this is a clear soap base, glycerin soap base. And um, if you don't have the clear soap base, you can use any bar soap of your choice. Now, I made this soap like three months ago. I'm going to be leaving the link up here so that you guys can see that. If you haven't seen that video before, this is actually a lavender box soap. Now, if you have a soap like this or any bar soap, you can shred it and use it as your soap base. But if you have a soap base like this, that's also fine. So this is the first thing you need before you consider making your soap. Now let me walk you guys through on all the stuff that I'll be using in my soap today. Now this is the Indian gooseberry. And Indian gooseberry is packed with vitamin. This can naturally lighten up your skin. But please guys, try to look for the organic. You can get this on Amazon, AliExpress, Alibaba. You can just get this online. You can find it online. It's very easy. Now I'm going to be using the licorice uh, powder as well. This is also packed with good stuff that can naturally lighten up your skin. Please guys, look for the organic. Now I'm going to be using turmeric as well. Turmeric is also good for your skin. It's packed with antioxidant. This can naturally lighten up your skin. I'm going to be using some quantity. Now this is a powder goat milk. If you don't have the powder goat milk, I would say no problem. You can make your soap without it. Now I'm not going to suggest you using a liquid uh, milk. Just look for the powder milk. Now, in any case, you want to use the goat milk powder. Definitely, you want to preserve your soap so that it can stay for a longer period of time. Now, I've got here my preservative that I'll be using here today. I'll be leaving all the names on my screen just in case you are interested in making your soap, which is very easy, very affordable. Within 10 to 15, 20 minutes, you're done making the soap. Also, I have here my sandalwood powder um this is also optional if you can't find the sandalwood powder that's fine but sandalwood powder is very nice for the skin this can naturally lighten up your skin as well so look out for this on amazon aliexpress you'll be able to find it now i've got here some optional um stuff that i just want to show you guys just in case you have either one of these. This is the lavender essential oil. This is a treaty essential oil, and this is and this is the rosemary essential oil. Now, if you have any of these, then you can use it. Now, for those of you that have issues with um, your skin, maybe you have like rashes, you have like uh, acne on your skin, pimples, or whatever. I would suggest you use the treaty oil because this is going to be very suitable for your skin and it will help you a lot. Okay, guys. Now, um, in any case, you don't have it. It's still okay. You can still use all of these. They will help your skin very well, most especially, uh, what is it called? Uh, um, turmeric. Turmeric is packed with antioxidants, so it's very good to heal uh, pimples, acne, and all that bad stuff. So, yeah. I'm going to be using just the lavender, maybe a few drops of the rosemary essential oil just to get that nice smell. Now I'll be using um, vitamin E. If you don't have vitamin E, there is no problem. If you have the capsule form, you can use the capsule as well. This is very nice because this can extend the chef life of your soap. So you, you might want to use this if you have it. So that's all I'll be using here today. And um, let me move this aside so that you guys can see what I'm doing here. Now, one other thing you need is your soap molder. Yes, this is what I'm going to be using here today to mold my soap. If you don't have the silicone molder, you can use any plastic of your choice. Just use the plastic. Make sure you spray, um, you rub like oil or oil spray on them before you put your soap once you're done so that it can easily 
come out of the molder okay guys now the first thing i want to do is to shred my um soap base so that i'll be able to melt it in the uh, double boiler now you can use your microwave if you're not patient enough but i'm not going to suggest you to use the microwave it's always best to do the double boiling method now in here i've got my shredded uh soap base and this is the quantity that i'll be using this is about two to three ounces yeah two to three ounces i didn't measure it to be honest with you guys i didn't measure it i know this is gonna be like two to three ounces this is all i need i don't want to make too much maybe i should add a little bit yeah let me add a little bit in there so this is just all you need to do you need to shred it a little bit so it can easily melt in the double boiler I almost cut myself so you put that in there now I'm going to show you guys my double boiling method so you can see just in case you don't know what I'm talking about so guys this is my double boiling method all I have here in my pot is my water in the pot yeah and then put in here my soap base and let me turn on the heat okay so this is gonna take um, less than seven minutes I would say yeah this is gonna take less than seven minutes so I'm just gonna leave this to sit here and I'll bring you guys back now let's see how our soap base is doing yep it's melting got some left here so this will be done in the next two to three seconds if you have dry skin you may want to consider adding at least one tablespoon of any uh, oil of your choice I'm going to be using the pure Roshi oil into my mixture just to show you guys what it will look like. Okay, this is fully melted. And now what we need to do before it starts getting <laughs> cold, we need to add all our ingredients together. Now the first ingredient I want to add is my Indian gooseberry. And I'm going to be adding just one tablespoon will be fine. And I will be adding in my licorice powder, one tablespoon as well, will be fine. Okay. Yeah, this is one tablespoon. Now, I'm going to add in my turmeric. One tablespoon of the turmeric will be fine as well done with this turmeric okay this is one tablespoon now the next thing I want to add is my sandalwood powder yeah and I will be adding one tablespoon as well Okay, this is one tablespoon. So I'm going to be adding three drops of my lavender essential oil. One, two, three. Done. Few drops of the rosemary essential oil as well. Okay, this is fine. So I'm going to be adding one tablespoon of the Roshi oil into my mixture okay this is one tablespoon I hope you guys can see what I'm doing in there oh my god it's beginning to form this is what I don't want okay 
so let me wait a little long before I add the vitamin E. Now, guys, vitamin E, you have to wait for the temperature to drop a little bit. You don't want to add your vitamin E just yet because when you do that, it's going to kill the effectiveness of the vitamin E. Make sure that the temperature is calm before you add your vitamin E. So you have to stir so it doesn't form because if you don't stir, the soap might start to form, which is not a good thing when you've not added your vitamin E yet. So just keep stirring until you see that the temperature drops, maybe in the next five minutes, seven minutes, I don't know, depending on your temperature. Okay, this is, this is good. So now I'm going to add the vitamin E and I'm using one teaspoon of the vitamin E oil in there right so if you have the capsule the vitamin uh, e capsule you can use at least three to four capsules of the vitamin e to be able to get the right measurement okay guys that's all you need to do so now that we have everything mixed in already now for those of you that like honey you can put honey in there but the only thing i have to tell you please do not compromise the soap base because some people they compromise the soap base and then the soap base um don't form the way they want it and it becomes a problem so right now what i want to do is to pour my liquid into the molder yeah like so try not to get bubbles in there just put it from one side yeah so it doesn't form bubbles on the top but just in case there is any form of bubble i'm going to show you guys what you need to do because when you have bubbles on top that's where the bacteria can live so you don't want to do that now before you put your um your soap into the soap molder make sure that your soap molder is sterilized you spray alcohol on top of it i didn't show you guys that part because i don't want this video to be too long it's too long already so yeah so as you can see guys i sprayed my alcohol on top of it because i had like few bubbles on top you need to do that because if you don't do that that's where bacteria will leave so you need to spray and then leave these to cool for maybe the next three hours maybe two hours depending um <clears throat> so guys um oh. So guys, um, the next thing is to just let it sit and uh, cool down. I would not suggest you putting it into your refrigerator. Just leave it to air dry itself. And that might take an hour or two or three, I don't know. Whenever it is um, formed, then I'll bring you guys and show you what it looks like. Okay, so this is my finished product. Yeah, this is what my soap looks like. Actually, it didn't take up to an hour for it to mold this way. And my apologies, guys. Oh, my God. I totally forgot to add my... <laughs> How stupid of me. I was just carried away. I forgot to add the goat milk powder. So you can go ahead and add your goat milk powder. All you need is one tablespoon. But like I said, if you want to add the goat milk powder into your mixture, you need to preserve it as well. Now, I didn't preserve mine because this doesn't call for preservation because everything I used was dry uh, powders. So there is no water content in this. So this can last you for a long period of time more than a year this can sit for more than a year yes so just take your wrapper wrap it put your label on top of it and you're ready to sell so this is what my soap looks like right now and you can just massage all over your body. spend extra five minutes in the shower while you're like uh, massaging the soap into your body so it can really sink in and do its job yeah 
so that's all for this video guys if you like my video please give it a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do so don't forget to hit on the notification bell as well so that you'll be notified each time i upload a new video uh you can follow me on facebook you can follow me on instagram i would prefer you follow me on instagram if you have any question you want to ask concerning this video you can leave your comments in my comment section and i'll be glad to reply back to your messages um what else do i want to say um <laughs> I don't think I have anything to add in here. Like I would always say, if it doesn't feed you, do not worry. Bye for now, guys, and stay blessed. I love you.